Hello! Right now, I'm shooting with Sony RX100 Mark 7 and I wanted to do something different for this hands-on first impressions review. That's why I came here for some kayaking action. The first thing I realized about Sony RX100 Mark 7 is when I'm wearing my polarized sunglasses, I cannot see the screen at all. Even if I turn it upside down, I cannot see it. I can see the screen when I'm holding it sideways. So if you use polarized sunglasses, that's something you should probably know about because right now, even though I have a flip up screen, it is completely dark. The zoom on this thing is, as you may have guessed it, it's kind of crazy. Look how far they are normally. So it makes it perfect. I love going with this stream, by the way. This can't be a fair review for Sony RX100 Mark 7 because this is unbelievable i'm having a fantastic time i can't even complain right now i do wish sony rx 100 mark 7 had the lens from mark 5 that would have been the fantastic point and shoot camera if rx 100 mark 7a for example can have please sony um, the lens from mark 5 with 1.8 I think that would be my perfect vlogging camera. This is overall a perfect vlogging camera for everyone. But that with the built-in ND filter and everything is what I want before I crash into this. Sony calls this camera a pocketable A9 because it has face and eye autofocus during video recording and that is a big deal. Sony RX100 Mark V already had a pretty good autofocus system but this one with the face and eye detection it's a lot better compared to Mark V. When it comes to stabilization even in 4K now it has the active stabilization. The previous models had standard stabilization but not the active one. So active one crops a little bit obviously but it applies electronic image stabilization on top of it which I'm shaking the camera a little bit right now. Makes things very manageable. Just going under the bridge. Nothing, nothing fancy, you know, literally. It's water under the bridge and also I like to mention that Sony RX100 Mark 7 as you guys can hear probably better has a microphone in how long did we ask for a microphone in yeah it finally up hello hello I see the eye autofocus by the way locked in to my eye I think this needs an ND filter too because I set it to auto, it's too bright right now. I think my shutter speed and aperture is not what I like for my cinematic shots. This view is just beautiful.
So since I have this set up in my hand, and since we're at Condo 3.0, I feel like I can take you and show you around a little bit more with my bicycle that has a BNH <laughs> flag on it. All right, we are at the main lodge. It says, Welcome Condo 3.0 guests, which are us. Now, let me show you more. Look at all these bikes with the BNH flag on them. And now we gotta decide where to go. Let me show you the sponsored pavilion first. Everywhere you look, there are photographers. Videographers. Hey, Hello. Hey, uh, I'm well, how are you? Good. Let's go, that's where maybe we can find some food over there. We got our bikes from here, free of charge in exchange with a flag. Locals usually ask me if I work for BH. <laughs> Hi. I feel like lately all of my videos. I like this, I'm on a bike or a scooter or a skateboard. I cannot complain, I like it. Here it is. What you can do is you can come here and you can get whatever you want. And as I told you before, the Osmo Mobile 3 <laughs> is so bad. What? It is, I'm, what? I'm so, I, what? I, I, I mean, I, I mean, wait. Oh, you guys work for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it out, man. oh, you oh. work for IRP? Okay, I thought you guys from DJI. <laughs> <laughs> and here you can get any Sony camera, any Sony lens, the Sony microphone. You can bring your stuff here for cleaning, which is actually not a bad idea. I think I'm gonna do it. I was here sleeping. Looks like passed out. They have a couple of brands workshops and usually a lot of food or snacks here coffee from Starbucks and I recently saw that they brought this I know someone who likes these a lot apart from really big brands we also see some startup companies around here like the, these guys they make these weird stuff no one knows what they are yet they're they're working on it what's the company called the sh the uh, <laughs> i don't know i don't know they're new kickstarter or crowd, crowdfunding interesting let's check out this <laughs> coffee and then print something on it over there oh the sony stuff too i think over here put, oh, put whatever you want yeah you can what send stuff with your phone too, but I'm not sure how that works. My battery is halfway down, but since I'm here, let's see if I can get a new battery. Yep, got a new battery just like that. Hey, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> so, and I think I disturbed enough people in here. All right, now this is where you come and sign up to pick up a model, and then you get your props and whatever you want, and then you go and perform a photo shoot or a video shoot that you like and last year I wasn't able to do it but this year I did it in the beginning it was not easy I, I'm not having a great time directing someone that way but the models were so professional the crew is so pro professional that after five minutes I was just telling them what to do constantly even even though it, some of them didn't work they didn't mind, they were professional, they were understanding. This is actually a lot of fun. So if you come here, you have to do this. Just in case you don't know it, it is 20.1 megapixel camera. And it has 24 to 200 millimeter lens on it. In case you're not familiar with Sony RX100 series, it's one of these point and shoot cameras that a lot of us 
really like because it has one inch sensor and the image quality that is coming out of this camera is just beautiful so I've been using it ever since Mark II. I had Mark II. I skipped Mark III and then I have Mark IV and Mark V that I'm still using. I didn't get Mark VI because I like the lens on IV and V. It's very similar to Mark VI but there are a little bit of differences here and there. This one is one gram heavier than Mark VI. They both have 8x optical zoom. Mark VII's ISO starts from 100. Mark VI's ISO starts from 125. This one can shoot 90 frames a second. Burst raw photos. Full quality 90 frames a second photos. Hey. Hi. How's it going? It's going good. What are you doing here? I am talking about um, ix100 mark 7 okay have you guys tried it i already yeah. shot a tutorial on it uh using it and i, I freaking love it having the mic jack allows me to back up you know and yeah. with the road wireless go yeah i'll shoot with you but i don't know if i want to really also sony says this one has a new image sensor you can shoot photos up to 20 frames per second with eye and face detection autofocus. It focuses in 0.02 seconds and it has 375 face detection autofocus points. Just like the big guys, it does real-time tracking. It oversamples from 6K to 4K. You can shoot in S-Log2, S-Log3 and HLG. It also does interval shooting. Sony also says the battery life is a little better compared to Mark 6 which is good news because it still uses the same battery but it's a little expensive it is $1,198 these cameras were always around $999 which was the really nice spot but for some reason that extra $200 you feel it you feel it lately this has been my setup i use sony rx zero mark ii with this microphone and the small rig hot shoe mount underneath it so when i'm outside when i want to talk this is a very easy solution especially when you get used to the focusing tricks because this focuses only once when you start recording a video as you can see i modified this a little bit i have the hood i have the nd filter i also have the trigger that allows me to a bigger camera hey <laughs> ah nice how's the autofocus <laughs> it was really good i hope by the way, Sony RX100 Mark 7 doesn't have the 5 minute 4K video limit, but it doesn't allow you to turn on the screen brightness to sunny day while recording in 4K. If it gets hot, it dims the screen twice to be able to keep on shooting. Talking about heat, when it comes to overheating, it felt like it did much better than the previous RX100 series cameras, but I didn't get the chance to properly test and compare Mark 7 to the others. Congrats on 500 Yay! Yay! Here we, we go. We will eat the cake in celebration. <laughs> yeah, it <just> says iPhone. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so in the end, my overall impression about RX100 Mark 7 is that it's a really good camera. If back in the time this was out when I was using RX100 Mark 4 or 5, this would have been fantastic for almost everything because it is really a pocketable a9 that will help you shoot fantastic photos and create wonderful videos with its 24 to 200 millimeter lens hlg to tracking blackout free shooting to microphone in it is an swiss army knife of compact cameras that may very well be the only camera you need for your projects i think it is safe to say that this is sony's best compact camera solution for a lot of people we just need the version with the built-in ND filter and the f1.8 lens. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please 
hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and play Ding Dong Dish with the bell next to it. And join the world domination. And please let me know what you think about Sony RX100 Mark 7 in the comment section below. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves. And oh, check out the fire away now.